Hello Aries, Happy New Year, welcome to your first video of 2022 with myself Thomas Janak, you are watching Energy and Star Sign Readings, please like, subscribe and share because that will help me grow the channel. So Aries, on the 4th of January we are at what is called perihelion, which means the Earth is at its closest point to the Sun. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because on the 2nd of January we have a new moon. And the new moon means that the moon itself has no illumination. And since it takes two weeks from a new moon to a full moon and then another two and a half weeks or two, two weeks and a half, half a day um, from, the other, from the full moon to the other new moon, it literally takes two weeks for energies to kick in because the moon regulates our emotions or helps us with our emotions and the light is just coming in very slowly. So normally the first two weeks in January could have been a little bit of a drag um, or at least it could have been difficult to start anew if that makes sense um, because that's, happen that's happening on the 2nd of January but on the 4th of January because the earth is at its closest to the sun and your sun sign is literally your star sign, right? So the, the sun gives you the energy you need and we're super close right at the beginning of January. <clears throat> so there can't be any excuses then, Aries, um, to kick the new year off properly, if that makes sense, because that's what I'm getting for Aries. Um, it's also interesting because obviously you're the first sign and so you are the, you are the sign of the beginning if that makes sense. And sometimes when you're the first, you have no one to call if the shit hits the fan. So sometimes Arians or Aries um, feel that there is less support for you. And all the universe is saying, you're so close to the sun. You have all the support you could possibly ever need. So let's just jump right in here. We will divide the video slightly as we always do in three sections. First we will look at the overall energy for the month of January 2022 before we then move on to your emotional core, see what's going on there and then we look at opportunities which normally have to do with stuff that sustains you financially but I only work here, that's what medium means. Medium means the guy in the middle or the person in the middle. That's how I see myself. I have no idea what the guides are going to say. Let's look at the overall energy for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Aries. Let's have a look. So, you can tell I haven't used these card in, cards in a while and they sort of stick or stuck together. <laughs> Right, it's quite interesting because you have um, the pink card and the moon card. So the pink card is saying to you in the new year, right, January 2022, in the new year, let love in. Allow yourself to either rekindle a relationship you're in or trust and manifest that new beginnings are actually possible. But you need to realize if you stay, you know, if you if you carry any pain over, um, you will carry it into any other relationship or any relationship that you uh, will ever enter, you know, intimately or not. And all the guides are saying to you as their first advice for you in the new year, let love in. At the same time, you have the dark moon. And the dark moon literally says, in order for you to get a deeper understanding of what's going on, in the month of January, you should contemplate a little. So, sounds a bit contradictive because on the, on the one hand side, the pink card here is quite in my face, kind of, you let love in, just let your love flow, right? So, so I feel that strongly, that it is really important for, for Aries to make the decision to give it another go, if that makes sense, or to look at relationships that aren't really working in the field of love. It is surprising because normally I would have expected them to start with this when we actually go to the second topic in this video, which is normally the emotions. But like I said, I'm the medium, I'm the guy in the middle. <laughs> They're asking you in January to focus on letting love in and at the same time sitting a little with yourself, not rushing anything either, and see if you can figure out what it is that keeps you from allowing love in, right? 
bit of a strange overall energy for the month because it's not really advice um, towards what to do in January, but um, and maybe to a certain extent it is because obviously the, the highest energy that we can ever produce is the energy of love. So therefore in the new year for Aries 2022, January, um, super important to let the love in. And now, since we just talked about love, let's look at your emotional core. Let's look at what's going on in the area of your emotions. Maybe they can clarify a few things um, until I have done the areas. I only do clarifications when I really feel like oh, I don't understand the word you're saying. That hasn't happened yet. Um, and because not only is this a general reading, so it might not necessarily um, resonate with you, but sometimes what people want is, is sort of ironclad um, answers. And it doesn't work that way because you have free will, right? So you already have gotten quite a bit of, of um, advice for the months ahead. And what you hear in the background is my cat in the litter tray. hope he or she he hasn't got a dump while we sit here. <laughs> here we go. Let's look at the area of your emotions, if that makes sense. That might be significant, <laughs> so I'm um, not sure if it's all shit or not. <laughs> I don't think so, right? So, let's look at the area of your emotions. That could be your emotional coil. We know more when we look at the cards. And what we have is, you have orange and you have tangerine. So, tangerine. So, that's very close, very similar. And then you have the outgoing energy, violet. Okay. Cut a long story short, what they're asking you with the color of orange, which is your sacral um, color, right, is not only to um, realize that life goes on, right, and you just have to be positive because the main message here is literally with regards to the orange energy, is to nurture yourself, look after yourself, put yourself first in the middle energy, which is your, your main message for this part, Right, is the tangerine, and that literally says have fun. Right, be spontaneous to a certain extent, but with regards to anything you feel, don't overthink, don't feel like oh, I don't know if this works. Who knows? Only time will tell. The reason why this is so important to have fun is because the outgoing energy is violet, and so what you're trying to do, what your soul is trying to do, what the universe is trying to help you with, is to actually live a balanced life. And because so far for Aries in the month of January 2022, it looks like that what is really missing is a proper feeling of being loved and sharing love. And so something is not in balance, if that makes sense, right? So, um, and that's what this really means. Um, in order for you to look at a balanced life, um, maybe it's important for you to realize that when you go things alone or you're not really addressing whatever is going on in the relationship you're in, right, or in the relationship you're missing, um, things don't work. It's also interesting that the violet card, they, ha they have numbers, and sometimes I look at the numbers and sometimes, sometimes I don't. Well, this one, the violet card, your, your, your balanced life card, has the number 45. And 4 and 5 is 9, the number of completion. So what I'm getting from this is that it is really time to stop the shenanigans of feeling, oh, I don't want a relationship, I don't need a relationship, I've loved enough, <laughs> right? Because that's what the energy, apparently, even in the second part of this reading, is all about for Aries. Let's move into the uh, final um, area of your reading which opportunities as they are presented to you in January 2022, right? Um, and that normally is about, uh, mostly it's also about, or oftentimes it's about um, what sustains you financially. So looking at, at what you're doing with your life, if that makes sense to your soul's plan. <clears throat> well, you have um, Auburn as a collar, um, then you have Burgundy, and you have the Moon in Leo, all of them here are all in sort of Auburn colliery, which is this, um, let me just show this here. I don't know if you can see this here, right? So this is this weird collar that's halfway in between and it's 
goes into Burgundy, because Burgundy obviously is, is the card in the middle, so therefore this becomes your, your main focus. Ultimately, what the guides are saying to you. Cut a long story short. <laughs> With regards to attracting new opportunities, you need to first ground yourself, right? Which is also why you have the forest here and the trees, saying, so like, you know, ground yourself. Um, ultimately, you have to understand if there's anything you need to either achieve or change. It cannot be done when you're all over the place or frustrated, right? So that's the first message with regards to your opportunities. Secondly, the main energy here um, is for you to literally look at, is what I'm doing, is the work that I'm doing, is what pays the bills, really what makes me happy. Again, January feels like for Aries. This is all about you understanding how important you as a person are yourself, right? Um, so awaken your passion is important. Look at, at, at whether or not it fulfills you. And if, it, and if it is not fulfilling you, if it doesn't fulfill you, um, you owe it to yourself to bring about some changes. The outgoing energy is the moon in Leo. And that just means that energetically speaking, you have the moon, which is all about our emotions. Then you have the Leo, which is a representation of a male lion, which means I have to run and walk my perimeter every day, right? If that makes sense. So this this is really about you um, checking out where else you could go or how you could make space within the the work that you do so you can actually express yourself much more what doesn't work for you at all is when you're overly pushy um right so if space isn't given to you you have to create it yourself if the if the space cannot be created in any position you're in then obviously um you have to say to yourself what else can i do with my time that makes me much more um, content with my life. And remember, 2022, New Year, if there are any New Year's resolutions at all, <laughs> um, then why not make being fulfilled and happy in the New Year your priority? Aries, that was short and sweet and somewhat in your face. Again, I only work here, so, so, I, so I, I can't apologize for it, but I felt some sort of an urgency for you. And I think it is the most important thing for Aries to remember that by default, by the very star sign that you are, you are the creator, you are the person in front. And therefore, you also have no one to stop you, right? Sometimes you can feel rather alone in it, and that's understandable. All the guides are saying to you is push through it and changes will come. Aries, thank you so much. See you all next time.